Hello folks, I'm OdinSpack33. Welcome to my newest Let's Play as of right now. Literally my newest Let's Play as of right now. It's on the Game Boy Advance. I've been uh, been relying on the Game Boy Player. This will be my fourth Game Boy Player Let's Play, if I'm not mistaken. We got Minish Cap, Kirby's Return to, Return to Dreamland, Kirby Tilt and Tumble. I guess that was before that. And now, Metroid 4. Uh, it's not called Metroid 4, it's called Metroid Fusion. As you see by the title, I'm not even going to pretend it's anything else. I'm Odin Spack 33 if I haven't mentioned that already. And there's the iconic Samus ship. I don't know if it has an actual name besides just Samus' ship. There she's flying it. We got the BSL research station right next door there. And uh, we got some asteroids ahead. And we're closing in on them. So Samus should probably uh, get out of the way of those things. Um, I don't know what she's doing though right now and she's crashing into an asteroid game over <laughs> now we got Metroid Fusion the first Metroid game made in eight years after Super Metroid same makers too. Uh, the same team I did some research on this <laughs> the same team uh, made that made Super Metroid made Metroid Fusion uh, really fun game I was first introduced to it uh, via the 3DS ambassador program that was released last year it was one of the 10 games you could play. And I liked it so much that I'm going to do a Let's Play of it, so why not? Let's get going into the story. This is a very story-heavy game here. Alright, so she'll be outside to watch over the uh, research team here. So she's on the SR-388, the home planet of Metroids. Uh, you visit here in Metroid 2. I've never played Metroid 2. I know you can get that on the Virtual Console now, on the 3DS. And uh, I hear it's alright, uh, but you know, you know, I'm just, <laughs> I've only, uh, in terms of Metroid, I've only beaten the first, actually I've beaten quite a few Metroid games now, Metroid 1, Super Metroid, and Metroid Prime. That's not, well, that's three games, that's not bad. <laughs> alright, she was attacked by a life form she'd never encountered before here on SR388, what a name of a planet, they can't think of something clever, they got Zebs, right? And they got uh, Talon 4, but then SR388. <laughs> Alright, so the attacker is the parasitic organism. It's known as X. They don't have a clever name for it. It's called X. You know, they got SR388, so why not X? Okay, so she's returned to the station uh, when disaster struck. Alright, it infested her, uh, <laughs> her nervous system. That sucks. <laughs> And then she drifted into an asteroid belt, which we saw in the little brief intro uh, to the game. We're going to see it again, because, uh, you know, why not? Just in case you decided not to watch it. I don't see why you wouldn't. You watch Super Metroid when it first starts. You don't skip through that. That's, that's an integral part of the game right there. Alright, so, uh, of course, uh, the escape pod got uh, activated before uh, she hit the asteroid. I guess it sensed danger. Which is kind of weird to think, but hey, eh, that's pretty uh, convenient. Uh, this game is, a, like I said, a lot more story heavy uh, than other Metroid games. So these X parasites here basically corrupted uh, her power suit. And then uh, there's apparently organic components of her power suit too. Um, the power suit is apparently integrated with Samus, which is weird because she can take off the suit. So maybe. This is uh, this is actually the last game in the Metroid uh, timeline, so maybe uh, throughout the uh, the course of her journey and her like missions and stuff, uh, her power suit just started to become part of her body. I don't know. All right, so she's given a minimal chance of survival, but obviously uh, she survives because there wouldn't be a game. Uh, she found someone found a cure, the Metroid cell. Makes an anti-X vaccine. Go figure, of course. You gotta have Metroids. They have to play a part in uh, in the game. Because the game's called Metroid Fusion. It was made from the last infant Metroid. If you played other Metroid games. Uh, a very integral part. Uh, the, me the infant Metroid uh, saves your life in Super Metroid. A little bit of spoilers there. If you haven't played Super Metroid at this point, what's wrong with you? Go get that right now. That's on the virtual console too. So Met uh, Metroid, Samus uh, Aaron, that's, that's her name by the way. 
Uh, she looks a lot different now. Her suit uh, is very modified because it's uh, it's got the Metroid vaccine in it too. So it's really cool looking. I like the fusion suit. That's what it's referred to as. It's all blue and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, see, look, I, I didn't really spoil anything because she just tells you right there that the Metroid saved her life before. Alright, so we're going to the uh, BSL research station. Alright, the ship's computer is notified of our approach. BSL, uh, the, so the biologic space labs is where, uh, basically where the entire game plays, takes place. Uh, the creatures they captured on SR388, as well as her power suit that was infected, was sent here. So that's a key, key, uh, key point to note. Uh, luckily, once we get past all of this story stuff, uh, the game really starts picking up and lots of uh, fun shooting stuff and whatnot. All right, and basically this here is saying, oh, she has to uh, take orders. Uh, from a computer now. It's kind of cool they set it up it was her second time. Um, Metroid Other M takes place before this game and basically <laughs> that's why she uh, is... they kind of like set it up for someone to make that game. Although I hear it's not the best. I have it, I just haven't had a chance to play it yet. I kind of want to play through the Metroid Prime Trilogy first. But anyway, Metroid's a great game by the way. Any of them? Uh, if you have not played a Metroid game, you're missing out. Lots of fun exploration and just tight game controls. Alright, there's explosion in the quarantine bay. Stores, capsules containing the uh, samples from 388, and of course the power suit. We learned that already. Um, cause explosions of an unclear, so we gotta go check that out. Quarantine bay. A lot of this game has targets as opposed to other Metroid games where you don't really know where you're going. Uh, Samus can't really do anything now, now that most of her power suit was taken from her. She's pretty garbage. Alright, we go to the uh, navigation room uh, on the way. Yeah, they always find an excuse. Well, at, le at least starting in this game, Super Metroid didn't really have an excuse. Uh, but they always find some sort of excuse to get rid of Samus's power suit. Or, like, to get rid of all of her abilities. Uh, to, before you start, basically, in the Prime games or something like that, where they actually start you with a couple of things, uh, but then they find an excuse, once again, to get rid of it from you. Because <laughs> they like doing that, because they're jerks, I don't know. Uh, something I meant to show off, I guess I'll show it off uh, in this next room here. Uh, but you can, uh, you can grab ledges in this game, it's really cool. Something else that you probably aren't going to learn for a long time, is you can wall jump in this game. Which is also really cool and very handy for getting around and just makes uh, navigating a lot uh, easier. Unlike Super Metroid where you can literally wall jump up up walls, uh, like literally you can game break so much. Uh, they kind of nulled that a bit by making it so you jump away from the wall you just jumped on. So anyway, the quarantine bay is ahead. Okay, bioscience confirmed. We got some baddies probably. Yeah, so they definitely nulled that a bit, so you can't just go... You, you can't just uh, keep jumping off the same wall. However, they made wall jumping a lot easier. It's I, I remember finding it a lot harder to do in Super Metroid, uh, but it's very simple to do in this game. You just hold away, and uh, you just jump. Okay, I'm not doing it here. There we go. But it's very simple. Like, unlike Super Metroid, where you can sometimes just start messing it up if you haven't practiced it well enough. Very easy to do here. Right. There's the first bad guy. They let him hit me there. Uh, the bad guys are all the X parasites, of course, and they're power ups too. Um, as we're gonna find out soon. Um, but as you just saw, we got our health back from absorbing him. So our computer's gonna tell us what's up because, like I said, this game is pretty story heavy. Uh, once we start getting into like the main bulk uh, sectors of the game. Uh, there won't be a bit of story for a bit, but the beginning has quite a bit. Alright. Field team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex-parasites. So they actually mimic their prey, which is basically uh, is why uh, that specimen uh, was basically just being uh, infected by the X. Alright. They invade and rapidly reproduce. Yeah. And they absorb DNA, which makes sense. They, that's why uh, he mimicked that enemy there. Anyway, only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. 
Uh, because they're the main predators of X. How convenient is that, right? Alright. So we'll never uh, actually be infected by X again, but now we can absorb them as power-ups, and they will uh, replenish health and weapons that we'll get, so pretty obvious. And Latin abilities, so basically all the signature moves Samus is known for. Yeah, so all the power suit parts, of course, are being held by X. And uh, a little kind of spoiler, they're pretty much bosses. They're not just going to have random enemies that are going to give you Samus's most iconic moves and power-ups back. <laughs> no, you gotta fight bosses, you want them back. It's a Metroid game, that's how it works. You fight a boss, you get something good out of it. Now, that's not always the case in every Metroid game. Sometimes they just give you stuff. But some, the, usually in that case, they make you explore quite a bit. But anyway, we get the cool uh, music here for the uh, space lab here. I don't, I don't know what this area is called. I just kind of figure this is just the main, this is like the main hub. Uh, this place here. It's because, uh, like every Metroid game, there's kind of like different worlds, uh, if you want to call them worlds per se. Not exactly worlds because this is just one giant space station. But yeah, this is the big hub for most of the different uh, areas of the space station. Now we're going to head to the next save point and then we'll probably finish it up there. Uh, I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna shoot this zombie here. It looks like exactly like a zombie. Probably, see there's a scientist here, you can kind of see him on the ground. Probably just like a dead scientist. Brought back to life by the X guys. Uh, just like in Super Metroid, you can use the L button uh, to aim your, uh, to aim diagonal. Very helpful. You'll find this more in handy in bosses than you will normally. Uh, the R button in Super Metroid uh, was an aim another way, but it's it provides as uh, as you'll see in a second. So we get downloadable weapons, uh, but we get missiles. So basically, the R button will be your missiles, because uh, it's the Game Boy Advance. There's only so many buttons. There's a less amount of buttons on on there than there was the uh, Super NES. All right, our, our survival chance increases to 20. Missiles are your best friend. Uh, pretty much in every Metroid game, you. you you uh, require missiles. Uh, let's check out what, I can't remember what's over here. I don't think we can go this way actually. No, we can't. <laughs> As you see, it's kind of a kind of a bit of a dead end there. The X actually, I guess I should mention this too. Uh, if you don't collect them, you like kill the host creature and you don't kill them, they can uh, they can come back to life and just mimic the creature again. So you should probably collect them if you want to make exploring a little easier. These little elevator segments will give Samus a little bit of time to talk to you, basically explaining some stuff. Uh, so basically, the computer reminds her of Adam Malkovich, who called her Lady. Um, and apparently, she like respected him, I guess. So she decided to name the computer after Adam. I don't know why, just because it reminds her of him. But anyway, we'll uh, I guess we'll pick up the missiles and then. Missiles. Did I call them missiles? I think I did. I'll uh, pick those up. Uh, you can talk to the navigation and be like, go to the next room and get the missiles. And there we go. Look at the top of the screen. We got some missiles there. We got ten of them. Usually they start you with five, so that's pretty nice. At uh, most Metroid games. So you hold the R button down as your missiles. You don't have to select it, which is really nice. Makes it really easy to fire these things. So you just hold it down and you aim where you want to go and BAM! Power. Missiles are power. That's what you want. Alright, what just happened? That was a weird sound. Oh, the elevators just got knocked down the main deck. Alright. Might be related to the X. Okay, so this is the main deck. I guess that's, that's what this area is called. This is the main deck. Alright, so we gotta find... Uh, yeah, we know where we're going. I don't know why it got rid of the target. Alright, huge bio signs. Alright, we can use a recharge room. Or a special type of X parasite. Notice how it's green? That means green X parasites will give us uh, missiles back. Alright. Missiles are our only hope. Yeah. And yes, don't be afraid to use them. Missiles are fantastic. Uh, and like they give them to you before you like fight anything, which is really nice. Use these things. <laughs> uh, whenever you can. They're, they're more than generous enough to give you more missiles. As long as you keep finding expansions too. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's Metroid Fusion. Thanks for watching the first part. Next part, we'll go uh, investigate that huge biosigns area. 
And maybe we'll get some of Sa uh, Samus's Latin abilities back. Or is it latent? I don't know. First or second? Which one was it? See you guys next time for more Metroid Fusion. I might be bringing back a certain contest in the next part. So stay tuned for that. Until then, goodbye.